The early days of the COVID-19 pandemic saw many nations around the world take action to prevent the spread of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Among the strictest and longest-lasting quarantine and lockdown measures were those implemented in Peru, which were especially tough on older adults. Lockdown lasted more than eight months, and older adults were required to remain at home even after the government had eased restrictions for younger people. As in many other countries, the Peruvian government considered older individuals especially vulnerable to the risks and dangers of COVID-19. The authors of a new study argue that the government's decision reflects ongoing stereotypes about aging that represent older adults as frail, vulnerable, and in need of care. Rather than confirm stereotypes, their research showed that older adults demonstrate significant agency, which the authors suggest should inform policymakers and health professionals in developing future health initiatives for older adults. Agency here refers to the ability to direct or regulate one's own life experiences, whether as an individual or as part of a group. In-depth interviews with 40 Peruvian adults who were, on average, 72 years old, emphasized two aspects of agency, self-regulation of emotions and stress, and the ability to maintain or restore relationships with family and friends. To cope mentally and emotionally with the new circumstances generated by the pandemic, the study participants said they listened to music, danced, cared for their pets, watched YouTube, prayed, consumed media, and in some cases deliberately chose to avoid the news. With the isolation brought on by the quarantine, many older adults shifted their lifestyles and roles within their families and friend groups to maintain and strengthen those bonds. Some study participants took on the challenge of learning how to use messaging apps to keep in touch with loved ones. Others took on new household chores. Though seemingly insignificant, these activities turned out to not only support family well-being, but also generated a valuable sense of self-worth and esteem. While the responses provided by study participants don't necessarily reflect the experiences of all older adults in Peru, they do offer a different perspective from that promoted by government, health leaders, and popular opinion. Older adults in this study were not passive victims of an emergency situation. Instead, they took action to adapt to their new circumstances, to the benefit of those around them, as well as their own mental health. These acts of human agency are important, and appreciating them for what they are could help policymakers and health leaders make better and more informed decisions when developing responses to future health emergencies that aim to benefit older adults in particular and public health in general.